The son of Haryana BJP chief was arrested for allegedly stalking a woman on the streets of Chandigarh on Friday night. He was later released on bail. The woman recounted her ordeal on Facebook. She said she was almost kidnapped on Chandigarh Road with two men in SUVs stalking and harassing her. I am lucky because I am not lying raped and murdered in a ditch somewhere, she wrote, and thanked Chandigarh police for rescuing her in time. One of the men she has accused is Vikas Barala, son of Haryana BJP chief Subhash Barala. Police say both the accused were drunk. An attempt to kidnap charge has been added. Haryana chief minister has said that the case is against the son and not the BJP leader. First of all, when you went to the police station, did you have any idea who these people were? Did you have any run-ins with them before uh, this incident took place? The first time that I saw these guys in my life was when they pulled up next to my car and, you know, started trying to block me. So they were already doing that before I even knew what they were, I, before I even knew how many people were in the car. So, and, you know, even then, even when I called the cops, at that point, we were just, they were two random guys who were trying to harass a girl and I was just a girl. And the cops still showed up extremely efficiently. There was... There was no, like, they didn't know who my father was. They didn't know anything. They didn't know the, who the guys were. When I did that, when I filed the complaint, I went, even when I left the police station, for, as far as I was concerned, they were just two guys who were harassing me, who needed to be brought to justice. It's the next morning in the news that I found out that uh, they're from influential backgrounds. So you didn't know who these two men were? When you went to the police station, did you have a sense that the cops knew who these two guys were? Not as far as I could tell. The cops were, like I said, the cops were extremely helpful. Mm -hmm. If they hadn't helped like they did, uh, things might have gone very differently. Mm -hmm. You've described, uh, you know, the details of this in your Facebook post and very, very shocking and unnerving details. Uh, tell us, uh, you know, in this entire thing you've also written, and I'd like to quote uh, from your Facebook post, I'm lucky to be to, to not be the daughter of a common man, and you've referred to your father. Uh, do you think that, uh, that that's one of the reasons why the cops came to you, and also the larger resonance of the fact that a lot of young people, a lot of young women who we spoke to say that, what if it had happened with us? You know, the fact that you mention it in your Facebook post, what do you have to say about that? Uh, see, as far as the cops coming to help is concerned, when I called 100, they didn't know who I was. It's not like I called and said, hey, I'm the daughter of an ICE officer. I just called and said, I'm driving, and these guys are harassing me. And the cops responded immediately. They sensed the urgency in my voice. They could hear how scared I was. And they responded, like, within minutes, we, where we reached, when we reached the housing board chalk, the, uh, the cops came and caught these guys. Mm -hmm. Then we went, then I came home. Then I uh, took my dad. They called me to lodge a complaint. That was when they found out who my father is. I don't know at what, what point, you know, those guys' credentials came out. But that was when the cops found, found out. So before that, everything that they did, they did just to help a girl out. And that way I think Chandigarh police has been more proactive than anyone. They are the only ones in the entire country who offer girls, uh, offer to drop girls home if uh, they can't find a ride. So I don't think it was that. Later, I don't know, see, I don't know how, of course, the police works internally. But from what I saw, they didn't help me because of who I was. They helped me because that was what they had to do. At any point in time when you went to file the complaint, did you get a sense that the cops knew who the other people were? Was there any sense that they were under any pressure? Uh, not in the beginning. Because in the beginning, when, when we actually reached the spot where the PCR was standing and the boys had been nabbed, uh, they, nobody knew who those boys were. Uh, when we went to the police station, uh, the police was acting in complete neutrality. But I, I do think maybe uh, after an hour or so, they, they had come to know. I did sense a slight change, which was not a negative change, a slight change because I found the police being more and more careful about what they were doing. So, so they probably knew at that time. I did not. What made you want to come forward and put this on social media? And B, that uh, do you think the fact that your, you know, given your position, this matter has received the kind of attention uh, that it actually ought to have received otherwise also? 
I could have told the guys, the, the 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 cops, that okay, you know, if the boys are drunk, you can kind of book them under drunk and drive. And I could have actually asked them to uh, give them a beating, you know, and, and leave it at that. Mm. But I I definitely felt compelled, and I knew that you know some kind of repercussions will will come out of this. Mm. Not because I, I I had no idea who those boys were. I presumed that those boys would either be uh, kind of Uh, criminal juvenile kind of boys who are out to maybe maybe drunk maybe on drugs they could probably have a rich family background because they are going around in a in a car and so they would have rich family background so there would be some kind of a resistance from there for me it was extremely issue you know the the important issue for me was that these boys need to be punished for what they were trying to do and they need to be punished not only because they had done something wrong but if they are not punished there would be other boys their friends they will go and rag about it you know that we did something and nothing happened to us and other boys will also start getting those ideas mm-hmm. now somebody has to to try and put a stop to this kind of a chain that somehow builds up the nigar police par unka pura bharosa hai kanun apna kaam karega dosh yadi se hoga to kanun ke anusar karwai hogi ye इस घटना से सुभाष बराला जी का कोई लड़ाना नहीं है इंडिविजुअल एक घटना है जिस किसी की घटना होगी उसके खिलाफ कार्रवाई होगी ये मेरा ऑफिशियल स्टैंड कल भी यही था आज भी यही है इसके बाद इस विषय पर नो क्वेश्चन नो आंसर